Good morning, good morning, good morning. You are seeing what morning after a 14 hour road trip looks like. So I hope you're doing really well. And my goodness, it's good to be back. Time is so interesting when we travel and the experiences that we have are so awesome. Thank you for all of you that have been posting your green photos, creating a lot of inspiration for each other, for myself, and also as I'm able to share some of those pictures on social media, other people. A lot of people aren't aware of the power of green juice, just like you may not have been before we went into this commitment that a lot of us opted to go into. And it is such a cool experience to watch those of you that are doing it the experience that you're having and that you're personally loving it. It's not that you're in a situation feeling like you need to uh, push yourself to do it, but there's more of a natural motivation in your own experience and in your own process as you allow yourself to problem solve the understanding of, oh, I made a commitment to do this, what looks good? And being able to use a certain guideline and support for yourself in the healing process of what your personal body wants is always a really important thing to remember. I know we want to do it right. And I know one of you had seen something that I had posted where I said, oh man, the thought of having a green juice today just didn't settle well at all for me. And um, there were a lot of questions on that post that I will address today over on the forum actually. But what I wanted you to always remember when it comes to your health and when it comes to your wellness is that you really want to pay attention to listening to your body. And there is nobody out there that can write a book for every single human on the planet. So for those of you that are paying attention to how your body feels, don't stay committed to an experience just because you want to be committed to it. Allow yourself to really become aware of how you feel while you're doing things. What's the positive in it? What are you noticing it? How is a different, um, what's the different experience that you're having as you're connecting to trying a green drink or a green juice that's relatively low fruit in the morning? Across the board, I'm hearing very similar things that you're noticing your appetite is decreasing. And that's an interesting thing and that cravings for negative kind of foods are decreasing. Many more of the processed food groups are naturally decreasing. I'm noticing that quite a few of you are exploring also on your own having a green juice in the afternoon because you're noticing that you're hearing your body and you're feeling a pull to that experience. All of this, you're right on the right track for what's going on with your body. Now there's a couple of things that I wanted to mention. I wanted to touch base with this because I mentioned to you, I wanted to come back to the basics a bit with you all. When it comes to health and really helping your body heal from the inside out, as you allow yourself to really connect into giving yourself permission to heal your body from the inside out, a profound experience is about to happen because it's not about listening to other people. It's about doing something positive for yourself and not having any sense of restriction, not having a negative association, not saying I can't do X, Y, and Z. But what we're doing is we're using a green drink in the morning before having any coffee, any kind of caffeine, anything else to be able to really support our bodies. Some of us are having like a warm lemon water in the morning first, then we're going into a green drink. Some of us are doing a green drink, some of us are not doing lemon water at all. The idea though is as we wake up, our body is refreshed and as our body is refreshed from sleeping, it wants to receive nutrition. So as we allow our body to focus on nutrient dense foods, which are incredible when it comes to green foods, it helps calm the nerves, that starts to give us a different type of energy that we notice long term in our day as we allow ourselves to be consistent with having green juice in the morning. So people are oftentimes used to having that caffeine rush in the morning, which is totally fine. It's a very different energy though than getting the central nervous system strong, grounded, and connected in your overall healing experience when it comes to the nervous system and the gut, the heart, the brain, every way that the body's naturally healing and balancing out in this process. So when we heal from the inside out, it's critical to remember that you get to listen to your body. And I know the first thing that some of you are going to say is, I don't know how to do that. 
And I'm going to say, I disagree completely. You probably just haven't taken the time and the consistency to check in and pay attention. I know some of you on one of your first reboots, you were just like, I'm so disconnected from my body. Second, third reboot. All of a sudden there's this awareness that starts kicking in. And it's a different way of acknowledging maybe things that you've noticed before, but instead of just noticing pain, we pay attention to the signals that potentially are creating that. That's how we start listening to the body from the inside out. We heal rapidly when we allow ourselves to do this. So I'm noticing quite a few of you um, that are really enjoying the greens. A lot of you that were on that 21 day commitment, it's way past that and you're still enjoying it and you're still planning to connect to that. Please keep posting your pictures because it's a phenomenal experience. Now, some questions have been asked like, why keep fruit minimal? Well, if we do a lot of fruit in the morning, it's kind of spikes our blood sugar. And the idea is not to do that first thing in the morning when we are women and definitely women over 35 to 40 with hormonal influences. And the reason that I say that is the liver oftentimes can create a certain type of stress. When we fuel that stress with sugar or caffeine first thing in the morning, we're gonna have bigger issues with hormonal imbalance not too far down the road. So the idea is to support the central nervous system. For those of you that are doing a blended green drink, Feel free to add a fat in it. See if that makes a difference. Coconut oil, a little flax oil. I would do an oil-based fat, hemp oil. Those are the three that kind of come to mind. Maybe chia seed, because that can be considered a fiber and an oil. Maybe a little flax seed, that can be considered that as well. I kind of have this just apothecary of things and I'll kind of just, I call it witch work in my kitchen just to figure out what feels good to me in a given day. By starting the day like that again though, it's gonna really affect your central nervous system in a profoundly different way so that you can start paying attention and monitoring what your body actually is responding to, how it's responding to things, and how we can actually adjust our sales in our life, in our food choices, by being able to really honor our feeling element instead of overriding it. So there's a big piece of the puzzle. When we wake up, a lot of our bodies have been tired. So when we wake up tired, it's natural that we'll head toward caffeine or green tea, you know, something that also has green tea, um, caffeine in it. Um, and the idea is to just relax and feed that central nervous system. And within probably 10 days to 14 days, you'll notice a significant difference in optimism in confidence, in your overall energy, and also just how your taste buds start to change. A lot of you though are sharing that you're noticing a decrease in appetite and that your natural focus is easier to gravitate toward healthy, balanced foods instead of binging on other sweet foods down the road at whatever time of day. It's a very powerful experience when you adjust your body and focus more on green support you change and kind of defy all the rules that we've been taught when you start anchoring more into the green level of support first thing in the morning. People that have had problems with inflammation long-term start finding magical creation with that. Some people that find that they've had blood sugar issues forever all of a sudden magically just go away. And the reason being is sometimes, I think I may have shared this with some of you, sometimes we over accentuate the importance of protein in the diet instead of reminding our body how important it is to alkalize and support our body with green support, green love and green food. So when we're in this process, I really want you to remember that it's not so much what you eat, but it's what you're assimilating. It's what you're digesting. It's what you're breaking down and pulling into your own body. When your body feels safe and supported, it starts to relax. When your central nervous system is relaxed through supporting your body with more and more green support, your body naturally is gonna have a higher vibration, a higher energy level, a higher support overall, and the liver is gonna be functioning in a completely different way. I'm gonna be talking a lot about the liver in the next couple of weeks. Most likely I might wait a little while to do that but I really want you to work as a group as much as possible, support the group energy, and let's help our bodies heal from the inside out. So for those of you that aren't on the 21 day commitment or haven't done that last reboot, don't feel like you missed anything. Um, your train is still here, jump on, jump on board. Um, if you're not on the forum, come say hi on the forum. 
If you don't know what we're talking about now and you haven't been watching the videos, maybe watch the last three to four videos so you can get back on board and you can join the group energy and helping the body heal from the inside out. The next couple of months, we're going to do this together. We're going to work. We're going to get a couple of supplements. We're going to help engage our healing process together as a whole unit in this next upcoming season. The reason I am doing this is that we're not even halfway through COVID. We're not halfway through the energetics of COVID is a better way of stating that. What I mean by that is there's been a lot of stress and a lot of tension that's been internalized and has accumulated because of all the uncertainty of COVID. It's still there for a lot of us in the system. A lot of us are used to life being a certain way. We're used to vacationing whenever we want to, going places in an effortless way whenever we want to. It's simply not that way. You know that I just got back from Colorado and we were talking to the people that are running the mountains um, in the winter and they said it's going to be a completely different type of season this year just due to COVID and the limitations that they have and the precautions they need to take. All of those things affect our central nervous system a certain way and I want to make sure that we're working together as a team so that we feel supported through this transition. It is an honor to help you with this transition. And I'm going to tell you again, this transition is critical to be on the wave and ride the wave with ease and grace. Between COVID, between the political stuff that's going on right now, the energetics of people around you and what's going on in our culture. Again, we haven't seen a lot of the effects of COVID yet. A lot of the financial elements of it, all this stuff is coming up as a societal whole that we're going to be going through, even if we're not personally going through it. We are part of a unit. We are all connected together. So I want to make sure on a physical level, you guys have the group mentality that we are working together to enhance our immune systems, to really connect into our bodies, to release any stress and tension that's in there so that the body can heal through this incredible experience that we're going through as a culture right now. This is a very spiritual process that we are in. I talk about it a lot on the lives with you all over on the three o'clock Thursday forum. And um, I cannot express it enough. And I am so excited to be able to be by your side in this process and so honored to be able to be here in this process. So thank you for all of that. Keep the green juice habit going. Everybody, unless you're just not loving it. If you're not loving it, please share either on the forum, private message me. If you are not on track, you don't know what I'm talking about, send me an email so I can help you get on track. I want you guys to ride this wave gracefully that we are embarking on and we're participating on. The current is building right now. And I'm very, very, very happy to be able to support you through this process so that we can all be on the boat together and we can graciously ride the wave and our immune systems can stay nice and strong our health can stay nice, nice and focused. And this is a time of empowerment, connecting into the power of change and how to work with that. So that's what we're going to talk about the next several weeks. I love you all with all of my heart. And I'm so grateful to be back in San Diego. Um, thank you again. I know I did not show up for the live last week because I was out in the mountains. And thank you for the flexibility there. I will make it up too. Big, big hugs. Keep up the green juices. Please keep sharing. We have got a great contest going on this week. Um, the company Sakara had sent me some samples of products. They're full-size samples. They sent me two beauty waters, and I put one on the contest for this week. Um, I just started using it. I put it in my green drink, and I'm excited. It's wonderful minerals in there, so I'm excited to share that with you. Good luck. Keep posting those recipes that you're coming up with. You are creative geniuses behind those juicers and blenders, and it is an awesome experience to be able to watch what you're coming up with. Big hugs. Oh, <laughs> all right.